Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm Ross Everett. With everyone gearing up for the Winter Olympics, it's only natural for the prima donna athletes to start finding things to complain about. Now I normally don't like defending Russia because of what they did to Apollo Creed in Rocky IV, and it left Stallone so distraught he agreed to make the movie The Grudge Match. But Olympic athletes are supposed to be the best in the world, and from the sound of it, they can't even handle a little bit of fecal matter in their water, or as the Russians call it, stooly. Sean White, you call yourself an Olympic athlete, yet have withdrawn from participating in the slope style event because the course has been called sketchy and dangerous. And sure, athletes including White have already sustained injuries from the course that's been described as obnoxiously tall. But as we know, true Olympians have been known to risk their entire career for less. And besides, what's more American than turning a blind eye to atrocities in Russia? Certainly not giving up. That's Congress's job. The Jamaican bobsled team that fought so hard against the heartstrings of millions of people who paid to fund their trip to the Olympics is at it again. Apparently they didn't get enough attention from the recreation of the movie Cool Runnings and are currently living out the plot of what I can only assume is their pitch for the movie Cool Runnings 2 Dime Bagless. That's right, while the members of the team arrive safely in Saatchi, their bags are nowhere to be found. Now if Disney sports movies have taught me anything, and mind you they've taught me everything, the scrappy team of what I hope consists of a ragtag group of Rastafarian stereo types and ideally a Muppet must wait for their luggage with their blades in it to arrive or borrow equipment to practice from other teams like the evil and much older looking team from Iceland. The only athletes who seem to be truly taking advantage of Russia's progressiveness is the female ski jumpers who for the first time in nearly a century are being allowed to participate in the games. That's because until this year female ski jumping was viewed as dangerous to the female reproductive system which was information pulled from a book called Exercise for Ladies written in 1837 that stated strenuous activity could deform the lower part of the body. The good news is, based on how efficiently the country has been able to prepare for the Olympics, this book isn't expected to be released in Saatchi for another seven years. With all these stories coming out of the Winter Olympics, what do you think should be the name of the book the athletes are going to write after these experiences? That will no doubt lead them to appearing in some fantastic Subway commercials. Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and you can click this annotation for all news regarding everything we feel matters. I'm Ross Everett, and I'm probably not allowed in Russia anymore.